What's going on Samurais? Welcome to today's video. Before we start, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new around here and you have not yet subscribed, please go subscribe because we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Also, if you've already subscribed, please, 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 please make sure you're sharing these videos with your friends and family. It really does help us out and grow the community so I can keep making awesome videos like this for you. Now, today I wanna to talk about the Stream Deck by Elgato. Now, this is probably one of my favorite things I've ever found on the market. Now, I know it's marketed for live streaming, but this is way more than just a device for live streaming. You can use this in multiple applications. I'm using this in Final Cut. I'm using this in Photoshop. I use it every day to be able to quickly launch websites and bring them up at the click of a button. This little pad here is an amazing, amazing, amazing tool, especially for its price point. Now, the best way for me to show you what this can do is actually to demonstrate it. All right, Samurai, before I show you what the Stream Deck can do, let me show you how to set it up and install it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Elgato.com. Then you're going to want to click on Downloads. Then you're going to want to download the Stream Deck software. Once you have the Stream Deck software download and installed, you should see this little icon appear right here. Click on it and open up the Configure Stream Deck panel. Now inside of this panel, you will see a whole bunch of different options. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the system panel. So inside of here, you can see website, which launches a website, hotkey switch, which means if you have a hotkey that needs to be pressed, it will either switch it on, then when you press it again, it will switch it off. Hotkey, which means it just presses on and presses off, one, two, three. So that's like for any type of shortcut key you would typically use on your keyboard. Open, which opens files and applications and then multimedia watch is your play functions mute function that kind of stuff so today let's look at open so i'm going to drag this open up here and you will see that it appears with this little rocket ship now you could add a title if you want uh, but we'll talk about all of that type of graphic stuff in a minute so first we're going to click on where it says app and file we're going to click on choose we're going to go to our applications and then we're going to go down to photoshop click on our Photoshop file and open that. So now we have assigned this button. So when we click it, it's gonna open up our Photoshop app for us, one, two, three. We're gonna wanna make this look different than a rocket ship because we're not gonna know that a rocket ship means launch Photoshop. So we probably wanna put like the Photoshop icon there. So let me show you how to do that right now. So if we go back over to our browser and we go back to the Elgato website, we can actually see that Elgato has a button or character generator built right here on their website for us to use for free. Now, you can build these inside of Photoshop or Illustrator if you know how to use those and you have that software. But if you don't, don't worry, because you can do it right here on Elgato's website. So if we scroll down, we'll see that there's already a Photoshop button designed for us. So if we just click on that once, it will load right into our browser and we can drag our corners out so we can make it the full size of the button just like this then we just click save thumbnail and it downloads one two three so now if we close out of our web browser we can come down here and just double click right here on the little rocket ship go to our desktop click on the png we just created click open now we have made a custom icon so we know that when we hit that button we're launching photoshop all right, now let me show you exactly what Stream Deck can do. So say I need to open up Photoshop. So instead of me having to come down here and go through all the applications I have on my desktop, it makes it really simple for me just to have this little device sitting right on my desktop, click on apps, click on Photoshop, and it launches one, two, three. Say I need to switch to my selection tool. I can simply click on the folder I already created. It pulls up all my Photoshop tools that I use on a regular basis and I can click on my selection tool. Now you can see I have my selection tool. Right here, you can see it changes. Over here, I can click on my brush tool. It'll go to my brush tool. I wanna to go to my eraser tool. It'll go to my eraser tool. It's that simple to switch between tools now. I don't have to be working here, drag over, try to find the tool I want, or try to remember what shortcut key I need to press to launch that tool. Now, it's a big time-saving thing. 
Say I'm trying to work on a whole bunch of different websites because that's a big part of my job every day. I have to work on social media, doing different posts and posting videos. It makes it real simple for me to get to websites. So instead of me having to go www.facebook.com or going through bookmarks and finding Facebook, I can just click Facebook, it pops up one, two, three for me. Then I can click on LinkedIn, it pops up, it pulls up LinkedIn for me. I can click on Twitter, boom, I'm on Twitter. It saves me time, it saves me money. That's why I think Stream Deck is amazingly awesome and everybody should have one of these because of how much time it really saves you in production, in post-production, and just in everyday use. Plus, I can also use this in production. So when I'm doing live streaming, I can pull up lower thirds, I can switch between cameras, um, I can use this with my Blackmagic switcher, and I will make videos on all of that. So that is why I really love Stream Deck. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you're interested in buying the Stream Deck, I will put a link in the description. And until next time, guys, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.